The call center project was uh, another one of the unexpected projects we, we got out of Bank of Beirut. I stopped counting. But interestingly, this is a space no one's going to see, except those who work there. Which I understand that the bank probably cares about the, the comfort of its, of its employees and the well-being of their employees. But beyond that, I mean, you, you usually don't go that far into the effort of design when it's a space that no one's going to visit. It's behind closed doors. Nobody knows where it is. Geographically, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's behind a completely blind facade because it has to operate 24 hours a day. So even as an architectural program, it was very unusual. You have to construct the machine that's going to make this mechanism roll as flawlessly as possible. And this is not an easy task. This is not about aesthetics. This is not about doing something that's trendy or within the spirit of the times. This is about designing an instrument that has the, the precision of a Swiss watch, literally. Because every single piece, every single item of equipment that has to do with architecture, that has to do with desking, seating, furniture, heating, ventilating, false ceiling system, everything was designed specifically for this space. And we had the luxury to design it and do it ourselves and not just pick things off the shelf. It was really instrument, surgical instrument design. And uh, looking at it now that we're done, I really think we probably have the most elaborate and most uh, seriously designed cold center on the planet. I'm not exaggerating. We've done all sorts of um, impossible missions for Bank of Beirut, which uh, I think were, were very interesting adventures. I look at them as, as, as adventures.